Hello, Thongvor. How have things been since your brother's pet Forsworn got killed? Ah, uh -uh. don't speak. Not if you want to keep all of your fingers. Now, General Tullius knows about your little deal with the Reachmen. He's standing outside your walls right now with an army he marched in from High Rock. The fact that the King in Rags has been dead for half a year doesn't matter, you see. We know you still have prisoners in that mine, lawfully or not. So, would you rather be a good boy and tell your people to stand down? Or would you like to find out what I did to Thonar? You don't have to say anything, just nod if you're going to come quietly. Excellent. You're smarter than you look. Come along, then. Mordgood, you must meet me in Rorikstead. There's something happening in Markarth that you should know about. Uh-oh. Vampires? No. Imperials. On my way. Archmage? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, what is it, Frolda? We have company. Company? Evening, Sparky. Have you any spare time to chat with a friend, or are you busy? Ah, uh, what's this about? Various and sundry world events. Thank you, Frolda. I'll be in council for a bit. Very good, sir. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen you in your Archmage robes before. What happened to the coat? Uh, well, this is my uniform, technically. It's less suspicious. No? Oh? Whose suspicion are you worried about? Altma's student. I haven't seen her around since I got here, though, and that worries me. Much as she gives me a bad feeling, I'd rather she give me bad feelings where I can see her. I understand completely. So, what brings you out here in the middle of a civil war? The war itself, actually. A little bird told me you were having a hard time with it. Ingrath. He cares about you. I know. He made that very clear, and... Yeah, I'm having a hard time with it. Do tell. I wonder if I might be able to help you figure yourself out here. Why do you want to help? Ingrath knows I'm safe up here. He told me that himself. Well, yes, but... I am not sure I would trust your friends not to turn on him if you were to get a little... wild, shall we say. You mean like... You're not worried he'd bite one of them, are you? I would hope he'd have more control than that, but no. He can get a little vicious when cornered, however. They... wouldn't. They wouldn't corner him on purpose, but when he panics... You've never seen him lash out like that, have you? No? Should I be worried? Probably not, but I for one would feel more comfortable if Team Ice Veins had someone in their ranks that Stormy could hide behind. You realize what you're asking is impossible, right? I was on the field at Whiterun, and I fought my way to Dragon's Reach alongside everyone else. I nearly burned my own hands to a crisp because... Well, I lost control. I grew up with kids who went on to wear those uniforms, I probably worked with Imperial Battle Mages back when I was in the College of Whispers, my own father was a legionnaire. And? You can't be that heartless. I'm not heartless. I understand you must be in a hard situation. You have no idea. I have some idea. Believe me, I've been in my fair share of tough spots. You mean that whole tangle with Harkin and Venerus? I mean like finding myself without parents in the Oblivion Crisis and having to become a dancer because I was barely too old for the orphanage. A dance... Oh... <laughs> you had me worried for a second there. Yeah, that's... that's a tough situation. I'm grateful I've never had to deal with that specific rock and or hard place. Debella has treated me kindly over the years. 
But yes, I know how hard it is to play morality games like this. Yeah, see, I didn't have much of a choice with Harkin. At least, it didn't feel like I did. I know I have a choice here. Fight and kill my own people, or stay out of it, feel like an unforgivable coward, and risk losing Ingrath without at least being able to cover him. I can't win no matter what I do. Winning is easy, young man. Leading is harder. What does that have to do with anything? Kinwa, or... Uh, I don't know, Yarnvita maybe. One of those two is off leading the charge, I'm just... If you can't pick out who the leader is, that means you're it. That doesn't make any sense. It does in this instance. I'm sure the old Skull is a fierce warrior and the Dragonborn is powerful, of course, but... Who's the one making the hard choices? Who's the one playing the game? That's an odd choice of words. Not really. It's all a game, you realize. Politics, money, war, seduction, businesses, cults... They're all games with their own pieces and rules, some more intense and cutthroat than others. Powerful players find themselves controlling rather a lot of pieces and knowing the rules by heart. The true rulers? They decide which game they're playing. They decide which rules best suit their end goal. Good leaders know which pieces are important and how to move them on the board, how to keep them loyal. Okay, balls now. We're talking about leading a band of glorified mercenaries into battle, not running an empire. Well, you are the Lord of Ogahar now. I suspect our neighbors will start getting curious sooner rather than later. I have more than enough on my plate without worrying about the Vampirum Order. Not right now, you don't. You don't think a whole war is enough? You've turned your back on that, haven't you? Isn't that why you're here and not fighting with your team? Make all the excuses you want, Arden, but you're playing with the big boys now. It might behoove you to decide which game before you find yourself as a piece on someone else's board. Don't patronize me. Anger looks good on you. This isn't angry, this is mildly frustrated with your insistence on metaphors. Well, perhaps you should put that mild frustration to good use then and decide what you want to fight for. I don't... Want to fight. At all. I've never been a fighter. I'm a scholar. I'm... You keep telling yourself these stories. Because they're true! They were true. They're still true. You fought Harkin. You fought on Kano. Don't. Don't even... Don't you bloody dare. Sorry about that one, but it's true. You are a fighter. You fought for your life when Harkin bit you. You fought for all vampires and mortals when you took him down. You have changed, Arden. You keep telling yourself these stories about who you are. Do they have to be true? I don't know how they couldn't. I can't just tell myself I'm straight, for instance. I mean, I could, but it wouldn't change anything. Well, that part isn't a choice, obviously. I'm talking about things you can choose. You could, for example, decide that you would rather fight for your people and change sides. You can't be serious. I am. You wouldn't do that because you are, as much as it pains us both, a man of morals. And those are a game too, which is where I was going with this. How in any version of any reality are morals a game? I, I, I'm sorry, have you been sampling your own skooma? <laughs> Oh, gods, no, but I'm amused you thought of it. No, I take it back. Morals aren't really a game so much as they're the framework. Or the rules, maybe. Your metaphor is falling apart as we speak. An attempt was made, but alas, I'm no poet. My point is that you can pick which board you want to play your morals on, so to speak. A strategy that might break your defenses in one game might be the strategy that wins you victory in another. Cutting down all your foes might work in a battle, but lose your favors if you're running a business, for example. Just look at the Blackbriars for that. How creative you get with these rules is up to you. If you want to use a Taffel strategy in chess, who am I to stop you? Obviously the game's rules would stop you? I don't know how to play Taffel, but... Alright, you've talked me in circles, what's the point exactly? Alright, let me try again. 
You're struggling between whether you want to fight your own people and be labeled as a traitor, or not fight at all and be labeled as a coward, right? Pretty much. With the added bonus that if I'm there on the field, I can watch Ingrath's back, but if I'm not... Gods, you absolute moron. Why are you not out there with him? I, I already told you why I'm not. I nearly burned through my damn gloves and broke down after the battle because I just couldn't. Couldn't what, Arden? Cope? I, I don't know. I don't know what I couldn't, but it was too damn much of whatever it was, and I... Oh. I uh, see I've been playing the wrong game this whole conversation, speaking of horrible metaphors. What? You're not struggling with your own morals, you're struggling with your emotions. Yeah! No shit, tell me something I don't know. I've been struggling with my emotions since I was old enough to have them. Haven't we all? Gods, I hope not. I hope someone out there has more peace than I do, otherwise why are we all still here? Uh, that was dark. I didn't mean it like that. No, you did, but that just lets me know how you're doing. You're still grieving. Yeah, I know. I should be over him by now, but... No, I'm not talking about Arcana. Well, him too, but... I'm talking about your father. <sighs> Tell me about him. It's been... What, 25-ish years since the war ended? I lost him, but we lost him, my mother and I, in that last battle. He survived Hammerfell, he survived everything the Thalmor threw at him until the Red Ring, and then... Do you know how he died? No, they just told us he died in action. Struck down, that's all we got. I have... I have no idea. But I know how... I know how my mother shrank after that. She just... She wasn't the same, and even though I was just a kid, I could still see it. And, I mean, not to say I was in a mess, too. I was, but... But that day you became the man of the house, huh? You felt like you had to be strong for your mother. I never thought of it that way. I think I see now why you're scared of this. Yeah, I, I don't want to put another kid through that. I... I don't know how Jan Vita fights. I... she... I, I can't tell if she's just heartless or... I mean, she lost a son in the Great War. Her eldest son. She knows what war does to families. I... I don't know how she can be doing this. It's a hard choice to make. It sounds to me like she's a woman with nothing to lose doing the best she can. She has Mordgood to fight for. Her granddaughter. And you have your lover to fight for, should you choose to do it. What would your father have done if your mother had been the one on the battlefield? Don't, don't make me do this. Don't, don't. I... He would call me a traitor and a coward if he knew I was with the Stormcloaks. Would he? Or would he be proud that you were fighting for something you believed in? This isn't an easy thing to think about, I know. I'm not going to make you go back out there if you don't want to. But you have to be honest with yourself about what you do want, and in order to do that, you have to stop telling yourself stories about who you are and who you're not and what people would think of you. And you have to stop distracting yourself and let yourself grieve. It's hard. I know that. It took me decades before I finally processed the Oblivion Crisis, and you know what? I ended up stronger, more resilient, and more understanding because I finally took the time to deal with it, feel what I had to feel, and be gentle with myself while I was feeling it. I wouldn't wish this on anyone, but... We've gone through what life dealt us, and now we have to decide how we're going to play this hand. You're really fond of gambling metaphors, aren't you? Some of them made more sense a century ago, unfortunately. I'm... I'm not sure I have the capacity to do that. Every time I try, it feels like I'm staring into oblivion and falling in. Nobody talks about what it's like to look at your own heart across a canyon and not know how to make that jump without falling in. 
a lot of people do fall in. That's why my business is so unfortunately popular. And that's why I'm afraid. I've helped a lot of people out of some pretty deep holes. I've failed to help a lot of people too. I keep learning things and getting better. I'm here to help you, if you need it. Because of Ingrath? Well, and because we don't need any more Hawkins in the world. I don't know what his deal was, but I'd rather not see you go down a similarly dark path, my friend. You can do it alone, but it's much, much harder. Thank you. You're welcome to stay overnight. Uh, over... day. <laughs> I think I will. To keep an eye on you, and to see if this Altmer of yours shows up. Oh, Mara, have mercy. I'd just managed to forget about that. <coughs> so, uh... <coughs> what did you need me for? Might be better if I just show you rather than telling you here. Uh, of course, lead the way. Ugh. By the way, where'd you get that armor? It's quite nice. Looks good on you. Uh, thank you. I'm less concerned about it looking nice and more concerned about it stopping claws. Uh, Gunma made this actually. Along with a sword. He's quite capable. So I take it you're out here looking for vampires? I was, yes. Supposedly there's a bunch hanging out around here somewhere. We don't need your I've yet to find them. My girls deserve something nice. It'll be their father who buys it. The grief. What a quaint little town. You know, I don't think I've ever heard someone use the word quaint quite like an insult. I have a talent. But let me just bring you around here and show you what I saw. I've been poking around the last few days, trying to find vampires and also trying to figure out what... what is going on in Markarth. What is going on in Markarth? Isn't that a bard? Oh, I don't know who that is. Well, a few days ago, I was checking around past this ridge here and saw rather a sizable Imperial patrol. Now, I'm no scout, although in this type of terrain, I do kind of wish I was. Aye, I feel ya. But I stuck with them as long as I could, watched them for as long as I could, and realized that among the regular, you know, foot soldiers, infantry, there was General Tullius on the back of a horse. The what? Leading an entire Imperial patrol. Uh, that doesn't board well. Surely it does not. So, let me just show you what I saw up here. Try to be at least a bit sneaky about it. Stealth is not exactly my strong suit. I don't know, you can be pretty, uh, pretty sneaky at times. Yes, let me show you this and then I'll tell you what I heard poking around in Dragonbridge. And Karth Waston. Do you see that flag? Uh, nope. Let me get up there for you. Or with you. Oh, I see the flag now. Yes. Apparently, they are who was supposed to be loyal to your Stormcloaks, correct? As far as I heard. Apparently, he just surrendered to Talia's. His brother wound up dead. 
They're saying it was an inside job, but of course I didn't want to poke around in the city, being... an elf, of course. I'm sure they'd think I was interfering somehow. An inside job? Like, the owl killed his own brother? No, no, no. The Silverbloods had a deal with the Forsworn. They were running the mine, but, well, the mine and prison. It's the same thing, apparently. Almost all of them got executed sometime last year, right around the same time that Ulfric was held up in Helgen. I think the Forsworn might have been cutting off a loose end. Alright, that's a bit scary. Mm -hmm. Scarier still is the fact that the Silverbloods had mercenaries running the prison. So with both ends cut off, those mercenaries are going to be left hanging and will likely turn their loyalty to the highest bidder. I mean, that's not as scary as just a Forsworn coup or whatever's going on there. Who do you think would want them? I don't know. I was hoping you'd have more of a clue there than me. I've got no idea. So you can see this is where I... This is where I was watching the road. This is where I saw the uh, patrol come through. That's a handy little lookout right here. Hmm. I imagine someone with a bow could make quite good use of this position. That's a scary thought. Because the way the road is, you wouldn't even see them coming. No, you wouldn't. This is why I do sometimes wish I'd had scout training. <laughs> Don't be your mage instead. Among other things. So would you like me to come with you back to Windhelm? I assume you're going to tell Ulfric about this. Hi. If he doesn't know already, I'll be I'd be more than happy to let him let him know. Uh, I don't think traveling together is a good idea. Could you imagine walking back into East March and just a Stormcloak patrol coming across the two of us in Altmer and a Dunmer? Neither of us in any kind of Stormcloak uniform? I'm sure they've seen me, but uh, that could raise a few eyebrows. True, very true. I'm a little surprised you're on our side, actually. Well, I wouldn't say that. I have no love at all for Nordic politics. But I figured you should know, if nothing else. Considering that you know people who are in the Stormcloaks, and also I trust you. What is it? Maybe nothing. I just saw the deer running in the wrong direction and... I'm a little bit uneasy now. So you're still looking for those vampires? Yes. Gunma told me they'd be around Rorikstead somewhere. And I tell you, I've scoured the entire area at least twice. No sign of them. Well, I'm sure I could help you track them down. You should probably be careful around here. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, you see that little tent sticking up there? Up where? Oh! Hey, let's go see if that's where they're at. I think a tent would be good enough protection from the sun, do you? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a vampire. Do you know any vampires? Uh, I mean... We're in the Dawnguard, so... No is a relative term, I suppose? Like, we've come across them? Obviously. Still don't know 
all that much about him. I suppose that's fair. Rather diplomatic answer. Eh, I don't know if it's diplomatic or just, you know, average, more good squirrel brain. Hello. There we are. Okay. All right, what'd you do to him? Oh, just a little something I learned back home. Oh, you're a tough one. Sword it is. Paralyzed him. Well, yes, of course I did. I'm a mage. I will take that, thank you. I don't really need the dagger. I have plenty. Where did the other one go? The other one, what? Well, that came out of nowhere. I'm thinking of the... the big black dog. Oh, the death hound! Yes. I think we may have found our vampires. Good... good nose. Mmm... Uh, just observant. It's fair. Oh. oh, yes indeed, a coffin. Well, let's see how this goes. I do believe it's time to bring out the big spells, don't you think? If my big spell- what have you got there? Paralyze and Frenzy. Ooh, snazzy. I'm hoping they work. You want me to take point? I would rather not. I'd like to be able to sneak a spell in here first. Can't tell if that's a person or not. Morga, could you back up? Yep, sorry. That might be. Oh, all right. I think that worked. I'd appreciate it if you hold your position for now. Holden. What are we waiting for? Waiting just in case that one comes up here. What are you wiggling for? I'm not wiggling. I can hear you. I'm an elf too. Sorry. Wiggle in a little bit. Just antsy, that's all. Werewolves give me. What? Werewolves. Vampires give me hives. Interesting. Alright, not all vampires, but it's just, it smells weird in here. I just don't want to get snuck up on, you know? There she is. The... What'd you do to her? Well, paralyzed her. That paral para uh, oh, paralysis. <laughs> You've got it. Doesn't kill people though. It 
does when they're so full of fury that they can't find anything to attack. They basically end up attacking themselves. What the... That's a little dark. Perhaps. Effective, though. The things you learn when you go to school in... Somerset. Nothing here. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Oh. So this was the vampire. Alright. Well, looks like we didn't have to do the dirty work after all. Well, that went well. It did. Alright, let's see if it's anywhere near sunset out. Mm. Hi. There we are. Oh. Silly me, I didn't even look at all this. That could be useful. Oh. Interesting. Don't you like a pair of bright green gauntlets? <laughs> nope, I'll pass, thanks. Doesn't exactly match with the rest of me, does it? No, you do have rather more of a... red colour scheme, don't you? Step in the fire. Red and ashy. Hey, that's me. So, Gunma should be pleased. Aye, and Ulfric should be a little bit annoyed, probably. I imagine he'd be a bit more than annoyed, knowing he's... what? Gained one hold and lost another? Ah, uh, so you heard about Valkyries, did you? I did. I heard a group of mercenaries went in and cleaned the place out, six to sixty. That's the kind of thing people tell stories about. Six to sixty. I mean, we did have help. We had a little bit of a... Like a tiny little patrol of stormcloaks. Oh, you were with them? Of course I was. I'm one of the few who aren't dressed in uniform, so of course I get labelled as a mercenary. Oh, of course. You have some powerful friends, Mordgood. Hey, they're a little scary, actually. Hmm. Now, of course, I have to decide if I want to stay in this little town for another night. Hmm. What you thinking? I don't know what I'm thinking, frankly. Planning. Considering. Oh, speaking of mercenaries, who's this? Looks like a Bosma. Excuse me, sir. Sir. What can I do for you? Um. What can I do for you? No, nothing. What was that about? I'm looking for a friend of mine. A friend of yours. Yes, red-haired Bosma. Rumor has it he's missing an eye, though. I haven't seen him in quite a while. Interesting. A 
red-haired bulls mare missing an eye, you see. Yes, you wouldn't happen to know anybody by that description, would you? Um... No. Are you sure? I mean, there's a lot of Bosmer in Skyrim. If you just look around, they're all over the place. They're hunters and whatnot. I don't think I've ever met a Bosmer that didn't have red hair. Even Thurtle had red hair, I think. Alright. Uh, do you, have you got a name? I could ask around for you. I do. Ingrath Stormsong. That's an interesting look you have on your face. I'm just racking my brain, don't worry about me. I don't think I've ever met anyone by that name. I don't think I've known... No, I, I can't say as I've ever met any any Bosmer by that description with that name. Alright. Maybe one of your storm cloaks has. Eh, maybe. Sorry, it's just getting late, you know. Of course, I should probably let you get back to Windhelm. Hi! Hi, you take care of yourself? Um, can I ask what you're looking for him? An old friend of mine. We haven't spoken in... Practically an age. Of course, I'm gonna go uh, get back to Ulfric with that news about the things and the stuff. Hi. Of course. Take care of yourself, Morgud. Hi, I'll uh, see you around. <laughs>